Hello all of you. Today's topic is contours. The earth's surface is uneven. It is made up of mountains, plateaus, plains and lowlands. All these relief features they have different elevations, different height from the mean sea level. Topographical maps cover all the details, all the relief features, mountain plateaus, lowlands, desert area, etc. in great detail. But the question is, how will we identify all these features in the topographical map? Different methods are used to represent relief on the map, such as spot heights, triangulated method, benchmark, it's written as BM in the map and contours which are drawn in brown color. In the topographical maps, man-made features such as houses, cart, cart track, roads, metal roads, buildings such as post office, dark bungalow, circuit house, police station etc. are shown by various conventional signs and symbols. Whereas the three-dimensional physical features such as relief, vegetation and the different patterns of drainage are represented by means of contours. Now the question comes, what are contours? A contour line is an imaginary line which join all the places having same height from the mean sea level. This is the diagram which I have drawn for you. Four points are there for indicating four places A, B, C and D. And I have written 150 beside all the points. It means all four places are 150 meter above from the mean sea level. The contour line with the line which join all these four places are known as contour line. This is an imaginary line. The two terms are often used in relation to contours, vertical interval VI and horizontal equivalent HE. With the help of this diagram, I will explain you these two terms. The vertical interval, the vertical distance, you see all the contour lines, the vertical distance between two consecutive contour lines are known as vertical interval. Here in the cross section also this is clear. The distance, the vertical distance between these two is shown here. In the same way, the horizontal distance between two consecutive contour lines. This dis dis difference between two consecutive lines are known as horizontal equivalent. It is shown here in the cross section of the contours. HE, horizontal equivalent, shows indicates the slope of the land. In this diagram you can see I have drawn contour lines one side left hand side all the lines are very close to each other whereas right hand side contour lines are far from each other. Closely spaced contour lines indicate steep slopes while wild, widely spaced lines represent gentle slopes. You can see in this diagram, with the help of the, this cross section, I have shown you that the lines, when the contour lines were very close, so the slope is coming to be steep, whereas the lines were far from each other, the slope is gentle. Apart from these two, if the lines are uniform spaced, then it represents uniform slopes. And if the lines are far apart from each other, then it means that the land is flat. I'm sure contours topic is clear to all of you. Don't miss out my next video in which I'll explain identification of landforms such as conical hill, a ridge, cliff, V-shaped valley by contours. Thank you.